Hey, let me get a swish it up. Can I get a strip? Hey, hey, can I get a can I get a swish? Let me get a swish. Back up. Back up. Put a gun on the way. And it's nothing you can do. But it's nothing you can do. It's like they're not gonna do nothing. You just have to just claim you have insurance. You have insurance? What? Does you have insurance? No, it's, it's, it hurts you. Yeah, it's nothing you can do, man. It's nothing you can do, man, until you call police. Ain't nothing you can do, man, until the police come in. Hey, hey, no, you, hey, don't, hey. Ain't nothing you can do, man. Don't do that. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala, all praises and glory goes to our mighty power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash, double honor to the apostles that teach and rule well. Salutations unto the elect men, feeding the sheep of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, and sincerity and truth with this great gospel coming out of our Bible, through the spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai. And, um, yeah, man, what beautiful times we are fucking living in. It's about time you wicked ass niggas get judged, man. You wicked ass, two third ass, slow life ass niggas, man. You niggas don't want to repent. You niggas don't want to return back to the Lord. What you want to do? You want to fucking live in a low status. You want to depend on Esau. You want to steal and rob from people, right? So now the Lord is turning up on your asses, man. This is a signs of judgment day. We are living in the times of judgment because we see that um, the doors is closing in on who? The wicked, whether it be the Edomites, the heathen nations, or the two thirds, man. Right, they're running out of fucking time. And that, that means what you you Israelites who are following the ways of the society, your asses is running out of time, nigga. This is the book of um Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 8, verse 11. 
reach because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, right? So we got a society where these fucking criminals can rob, where a nigga can sell drugs, where a nigga can kill a family member and be released in a few years and then brag about killing that family member, right? We live in a wicked society. We're not underneath the ordinances of the Lord. We're underneath the rulership of the wicked. And, and Esau, what keeps Esau's system going? Shit, no rules, no law, no real order, no real laws. And we say rules and laws. We talking about the laws of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Yeah, the, the laws of Edom is not the laws of the Lord. Yeah, don't run that red light. Yeah, um, um, all kind of bullshit. You can't steal no cable. All type of bullshit. That, that's some bullshit. When we get in the kingdom of heaven, what did the Bible say about when we get established on the earth? Everybody's going to get to enjoy life after that thousand years. First, you heathens got to pay. But underneath Esau's rulership, everybody is what fucking suffering, right? Everybody is hurting, right? Everybody is resorting to what? Thievery, robbery, right? Um, shit, it's called the despair. They're desperate, right? A, angry man, a hungry man is an angry man. No place to live. No place to work. Can't afford to eat, right? It's millions and millions and millions of Americans in poverty, in poverty. And they stealing and robbing you two thirds. Yeah, guess what? You supposed to call them the Lord, you Israelites. It don't matter what nation, what country, what place you're living in captivity, where you're suffering, you supposed to be calling on your Lord. Because it don't matter where you at. The Lord said, What well, call on me? <laughs> call on me, trust on me. I'm reading Ecclesiastes 8, verse 11, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the hearts of the Son of Men is fully set in them to do evil. These bitch ass niggas in California, Chicago, New York. Philadelphia, um, Texas, right? A lot of cities in America have been going in stores just robbing pharmacies, robbing CVSs, robbing grocery stores, and nothing has been happening. Why? Because Esau is setting it order out of chaos, right? Order out of chaos. But guess what? Who's really in order? Our Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Shai. Read Ecclesiastes 8, verse 11, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the hearts of the Son of Men is set the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. It reads, though a sinner do evil an hundred times and his days be prolonged, right? We're looking at all these wicked men prosper. Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Lord, which fear before him, but it shall not be well with the wicked. No matter how long that wicked motherfucker been doing wicked and prospering. Guess what? What the Lord said, but it shall not be well with the wicked. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not Yahweh by Hashem Shai. He feareth not before the Most High, man. So guess what? You wicked ass niggas, you being sent off. The Lord is sending your punk asses off, right? You're going to continue to rob, steal, kill, destroy, do wicked things. And guess what? It's going to be a time where the, George gonna, the Lord going to judge your punk asses. Acts 17 verse 30. And the times of this ignorance, the Most High winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Right? I'm reading it again. In the times of this ignorance, the Most High winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Right? The days is over. It's either you're with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh or you're with the world, right? And we see that this society has nothing to offer who you Israelites. You Israelites, the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? This society is fully set against you. That's why you are at the bottom. That's why you are suffering. Now wait until the time of what? Jacob's trouble, because your ass is Jacob. Your ass is Jacob. Acts 17 and 30 again. And at that, in the times of this ignorant, the Most High winked that, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent, because he have what? Because he have appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he have ordained whereof he have given assurance unto all men and that he have raised him from the dead right and when a yahweh is coming to judge the earth and when they heard of the resurrection of the dead some mocked and others said we will hear thee again of this matter later how you know matter we will hear thee again of this matter um hey don't, hey, don't put off tomorrow what you could do today. Yeah, ain't no time. You, you don't know you're going to make it through the night. Ain't no time to be playing games. The Lord is winking at, used to wink at your wickedness. Now the Lord 
means all men to repent everywhere. So ain't no time to wait for another day. So Paul departed from among them. Howbeit certain men clave unto him and believed among them, which was Dion Dionysius, the Aeropagite, and a woman named Demarius, and others with them. Yeah, the Lord's about to. Hey, the elect is being awakened. Men, women. Men, women, children, right? Ain't nothing that's going to stop this truth, right? We see the only thing that's stopping is what the rulership of Esau Edom. That's the only thing that's slowing down. Zephaniah 2 and 1. And it reads, gather yourselves. I'm talking to you, Israelites, descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desired. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the shaft, before the fierce anger of Yahweh come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you, seek Yahweh, all ye meek of the earth which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of Yahweh's anger. And with the, with the Lord about to turn up, or about to turn up, it's either you fucking seek the Lord or you're gonna fucking die, man. And guess what? The Lord ain't always gonna be around for you to find him, right? Isaiah 55 and 6, and it reads, Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Talking about, I'm going to hear about this matter later. What you mean you're going to hear about this matter later? You act like you know what tomorrow's going to bring. You act like you know you're going to make it through the night. The thing is, um, time is not on your fucking side, you people of this society. <laughs> the Lord been ready to tear this bitch up. He's just waiting for this prophecies to come to pass. Right. He said, I've spoken. It, it got to be the words he spoke. It got to be done. He's not a man that he should lie. So prophecy's got to come to pass. But the Lord been tired of this fucking place. Talking about I'll wait to hear about this. And that. it's a matter of another time. Right. It says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Yeah. Fuck what you got to do. Fuck what's in your mind. You better get in the book. You better get with the men of the Great Millstone. You better start watching these videos, start getting this edification. Because it's not always going to be around. The famine of the word is very close. Let the wicked forsake the way and the righteous, the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him to our power. For he will abundantly pardon. And that's why we're waiting for the Lord, man. We're waiting for the Lord to pardon us, redeem us, and save us from these motherfuckers.